Well, good morning, folks. It's Richard here. Today, we're going to be doing a little bit of bluegill fishing and possibly shell cracker if I can find them. Currently, it's 69 degrees on top this morning. That's a good temperature right there to start looking for bluegill and shell cracker. Um, they're just now starting to bed right now. Um, and what... You know, what I do, what I look for is a good, being I wear prescriptions, I look for, and you can get these at Walmart, a good pair of sunglasses right here. Now, these are real cheap. What's the name? They're not, the name of them are Polar Optics. And uh, it will cut the glare. They're made to go over prescriptions. Excuse me. It'll cut the glare off the water, and you can see those fish. They'll stand out. And the way that I approach this is I'll go along the shoreline and I'll visually look for beds. That's all they are to it. And right now we have a bed right over here. And there's uh, not a whole lot of fish on it, but a few. And I don't know if there's any shell cracker back in this particular little cut, but we're going to look for them. Um, this is not the only bed I'm going to fish today. I'm just going to catch a few off each bed and then let it go and go look for some more. I want to see what's going on out here. All right, today I'm going real simple and light. This is just a six-foot dock shooter. This is one of my crappie rods right here that I use for skipping under docks. Perfect for this application. I want y'all to see them two gar right there. See them? Male and female right there everything's doing what they need to be doing i tell you what it is absolutely beautiful out here i've got to mention that again six foot long light action and i'm using a small dial with reel this is a fugo lt 1000 i hope that i pronounced that right i'm having a little bit of trouble with that it's f u e g o and i have a six pound test p line high vis braid on it and right here my connection is a double uni knot with high vis mr crappie four pound test on it and i have a squirrel tail jig this is a 180th of an ounce tiny tiny jig with a size eight hook in it and that's a sickle hook and i have it tied with a loop knot and that's all i'm doing right here now the bed is right out here and I've seen a few fish on the beds. Now, I've seen a lot of smaller fish on top, suspending over the beds. And uh, that's another thing you can look for. But the actual bedding fish are more mature. They're actually bedding. Those little dudes hanging around the beds right there are, are um, smaller bluegill that's immature. And they will actually eat... Uh, their uncles and aunts ba um, eggs, excuse me. It's a rough world out here. Let's make a cast. Let's see what we can do right here. I don't know. I think I need to... I think, believe the fish are a little bit closer than that. But I'm not fishing very deep at all right here. Probably about 18, 19 inches deep. Um, and I'm just using a light, light cork right here. Yellow. Let's throw out there and see if we can. And there's a lot of gills there on top. But, oh, I missed him. There we go. My goodness. This is a pretty good bluegill, folks. First fish of the morning, too. My goodness. What fish pulls like a bluegill or a shell cracker for their size? I don't know. That's a pretty good gill right there. Look at there. Beautiful northern strain bluegill. Big as my hand. 
Let's let him go. And let's talk about it. Beautiful fish. My goodness, that'd be a good one to eat, but I didn't bring no cooler, no ice to put them on. Mama Sue loves them. Going back. My, 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 my. Whoa. Whoa. <clears throat> I tell y'all what, folks. I should go hunt another bed, but I would at least like to catch one or two of those shell cracker on that bed. Now, the water is about that deep. And this cork, it's not doing anything but spooking those fish. So I'm going to change. Tie me on another jig just like this without a cork on this other rod right here because that's killing me. They're just big, black, red ear sunfish. They're beautiful. Let's at least catch one or two. Now, when they're up that shallow, a lot of times they can be difficult to catch. Uh, one of the best ways to go about it is have some light, light line, two pound test line and a night crawler. Oh my goodness, it would be just instant, but we're fishing with artificials. All right, folks, I found another bed right here and there's a lot of fish on it. I believe they're bluegill though, let's see. <laughs> oh my goodness. I believe they're all just big bluegill. Let's try that again. Oh, man. Yeah, some of those are good ones. I'm just going to be real quiet here. And... Doggone it. I mean, some of them are good ones. There he is, too. I let that jig hit the bottom, and he just eat it time he hit the bottom he inhaled it now there that's a little bit better right there that's what i'm talking about that's a good fish right there anywhere and good eating my goodness hey let's let him go right there I'm just going to ease off this bed just a little bit because there's some good ones right here. And there's some more right up there. I see them. I tell you what, it's full of them. Absolutely full of fish. Let's make a cast into that bed there and see what happens. Oh, my goodness. Now, that's a big shell cracker right there. Let's see if we can catch him. Oh my goodness, I believe he hit it. Let me try that again. Now oh, that's a bluegill there. <laughs> it don't matter. Them shell crackers are being real smart today. Look at there, look at there. Let him go. A lot of fish right here behind me. I'll show y'all what I'm talking about. Watch this. Oh, he hit it, but I didn't know where we go. He come back and got it. Got it the second time. <laughs> oh, man. A sport. Well, second to none. I'm just going to make another cast. What I'm going to do right here, folks, is make another cast like that and drag another one out of there. Like that, see? Yep. Man, this ought to be getting along. But it ain't. We live in the... That's a big one, right? Hey, let's let him go. I've seen a big black one right up there. Let's see what we can do about that. There's two big shell crackers right there. But the bluegill grabbed it. Down, oh, gone it before the shell cracker did. 
well, wait a minute. That's a hybrid. That's, that's in between a shell cracker and a bluegill right there, folks. That's a pretty fish. But that's exactly what that is. Now, that's pretty. That is a beautiful fish right there. Oh, my goodness. We got to show that one. Wow. Let's see if we can do that again. There might have been another one right there. No, that's just a regular bluegill. Now that happens, which I mentioned that they'll intermix sometimes. Let him go. And when you get a bluegill and a shell cracker mixed, or bluegill and red ear sunfish mixed, you got a pretty fish. They're real pretty. Marcel ain't here today because he's got bad, bad heat to me, beans. <laughs> That's a bean eater. Oh, let me get back here to the back. I don't need to be running my trolling motor. Let's see what we got now. Yeah, I see you right there. He got it. That was that good one I seen. Now, there ain't many on this bed right here, mainly just small ones. But I see, the, the bigger fish, I see them actually in the beds. Every once in a while, they'll dart around and try to protect their eggs. That's a good one. These fish really have to work and work hard to maintain their species, I guarantee you. My goodness. There's a few shell cracker in amongst them, but I want you to look. That's about as pretty as you can get right there for a panfish. To me. Get that. that fish had it the time it hit the water. And shell cracker. Probably the smallest one in there, but looky there. Quiet. <laughs> oh, me. <clears throat> I guess you got the lens wet. Go on back. Don't want to spook them. where they was and there he is these are real shallow right here you're talking about having some fun with a fly rod backing off right here oh my goodness you can have a ball right here I'm gonna go get me a fly rod and I see all kinds of fish right there let's just make a short little pitch and see what happens right here look here <laughs> or another i gotta get off of these that's a good one ain't a thing in the world wrong with that let it go pretty thing that old woman down over uh, by my backer, she's got old hair on her chin about that long right there. She scares me. All right, folks, we're going to call it a day right here. I enjoyed this more than you'll ever know. Now, this was a lot of fun. I probably found 23, 24 beds, maybe, with ease, simply because of these right here if you have prescriptions get you some of these right here they'll fit right over them 
you'll spot them beds. That's what I'm talking about. You have to cover a lot of ground a lot of times, but you'll find them. And I want to thank y'all very much for everything y'all done for this channel. Hey, all the great comments. Y'all know the drill. Whoa. Well, Oh my goodness. Whoa. 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 And remember, go fishing when you can, because it's good for you.